What is happening, BC Spirits? BC Spirits, Spirit of Day number 89. Um, today we're gonna do something from Roberts Creek, the Bruinwood Vodka. Now, I always like to throw a vodka up here, the Aquazen, uh, every now and then, just because I know vodka's still a big part of a lot of people's like uh, cat catalog of spirits that they have to drink or must drink. Um, for me, it's not so much. Um, so this is distilled from a blend of barley and wheat, fermented with a touch of honey, um, which is very, very interesting, that little touch of honey with the, the barley and wheat. Um, so let's kick it off. I think the honey addition is very, very interesting. Like barley, wheat, and honey. You're obviously going to get, a, it's a big whack of fermentable sugar in there. So it's probably gonna help with the fermentation process quite well, just like whacking that really nice local honey into it. On the nose, it's I, I would say it's wheat forward, and you got this hint of like honeycomb in the back. On the palate, clean and complex. Pretty flavorful for a vodka, for sure. You gain the wheat, the malted barley is there. Definitely wheat forward. I would say definitely a wheat forward sort of flavor profile. And then you get this beautiful textural mouthfeel of honeycomb finishing up that whole sort of feel to it all, which is fantastic. What a fantastic little vodka. If you're up for, if you're a vodka drinker and you aren't experience, experimenting with local craft distilleries, now you have to be experimental. Like in this day and age, if you're still drinking the same thing you've been drinking for 20 years, um, I, I don't feel sorry for you, but I, I understand that people feel comfortable and they do their, what they do. Um, but you really have to give a try of some of the local craft. This is a fantastic little uh, vodka from Bruinwood Distilling. Day uh, number 89. Spirit of day number 89. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.